Waziri Fred Matiangi anasema matukio ya vurugu yameshuhudiwa Nairobi na Kisumu pekee. Hapa Nairobi akiyataja maeneo ya Kibra na Madhare huku katika kaunti ya Kisumu akiashiria visa vingi vimetokea katika mitaa midogo midogo pekee. Hey! Swala likiwa kwamba wahalifu wanalenga kuharibu mali ya watu na sio kutetea haki. Also, the Inspector General of Police has briefed us this morning about a certain levels of detail about uh, individuals who are trying to break into a hardware last night in Madare. Uh, we have been briefed about individuals who were trying to burn a bus. Now, the actual terminology you would use about those people is that they are criminals. And criminals are dealt with depending on the circumstances they are found and the force that they themselves are using against the security agencies. Ingawa mkenya yote ana haki kujieleza sipo ridhisho na hatua yote ya umma na hasa kutokana na kukamilika kwa uchaguzi wa rais uliompa huru Kenyatta ushindi matiangi anadai matukio aliyoshuhudiwa Kibra Mathare na mitaa ya Kisumu hayakuwa maandamano ya amani If there are peaceful protesters who are picketing they are protected by the law but people who are breaking into shops and looting are not peaceful protesters by any stretch of imagination na alipoulizwa idadi ya watu ambao wamepoteza maisha yao kutokana na fujo hizo I am happy that you are saying they had that is rumor and gossip they had police have not used any disproportionate force against any protesters anywhere in this country I can tell that I can look you in the face and tell you anyone who's making that claim is plainly lying and spreading rumors katika kaunti ya Kisumu, mratibu wa masuala ya usalama eneo la Nyanza Wilson Jenga anasema mtu mmoja amefariki baada ya kupigwa risasi akiwa kati ya wahalifu. Jenga akisema wahalifu wanatumia matokeo ya urais kuharibu mali ya watu binafsi hali iliyowafanya maafisa wa usalama kutumwa katika kaunti za Kisumu, Siaya na Migori kudhibiti hali. Katika eneo la Pwani, mwakilishi wa serikali kuu Nelson Marwa anasema hali ya utulivu inaendelea kutamalaki akiapa kuadhibu kisheria watakaojaribu kuvuruga amani we are using the, the term must we are not just begging lam and the tana river must remain calm and this is the position we are taking we are not going to negotiate with criminals serikali ikiwataka wa Kenya kurejelea shughuli zao za kawaida baada ya uchaguzi kukamilika sam kitoko ni pasha weekend